will create a new app in Xcode to draw some circles using for loop. Let's get started. So Xcode, create a new project, single view app, yes, next. Product name circles. So make sure organization name, organization identifier come, okay. Gold, gold sun, golden letter. This is my company name. Okay, Swift storyboard user interface. Include the unit test, yes. But we will not use it. Okay, we will put the uh, project file under this directory. Yeah, I created the developer. This is not a default. Create, no. Let's create it. Let's run it. Oh, select our favorite simulator. 9.7 inch iPad and run it. Make sure everything is filed before we continue. So we'll add a view and start drawing something there. Okay, cool, it works. So now let's right click here, create a new file. Um, iOS, Coco Touch class next. So make sure it's a subclass of UI view. So our circles view. Yeah, language is Swift next. Accept the default setting, create. So let's delete this line. So we'll put our drawing code here shortly. But now let's make sure we are use this view in our main storyboard. So go to the main storyboard and switch this template. This is iPhone template that change it to iPad. And let's click here and hide it. And we can make it a little bit smaller. Use our two fingers. Yeah. And click this icon button to find out our widget named view here. Drag and place it here. And let's change its background color to something interesting. Okay. Now let's make it bigger so we have more room to draw. Command R, ah, Command R to run it. Yes, we can see it, but we still need one step, one more step to click the the fourth icon here to set the class to our circles view. If you cannot see that, for example, if you use a name, it failed to show up here. You can type it right, like circle. Yeah, enter. Now. We can go back to the circles view file to start draw a circle. Let's create, yeah, let enter. So circle zero. Okay. We'll create the UI Bazier pass. So now let's pick up a constructor, the second one. So we used the first one before to draw straight line and the shapes. But now this time to draw a circle, we can use this one. So point, this is arc center, is our circle center. So let's go to 300 and 300. Let's start from here. Radius, um, okay. Let's do it small. 
start angle zero okay and end angle two pi so we don't need to use like two times 3.14 we can use this constant provided by x code and two pi means three hundred and sixty degree and uh, clockwise it doesn't matter so it works like that so say this is the center and here is zero zero degree or zero uh, radius right and going counterclockwise is the value increase the angle value increase and here is half pi one pi right one and a half pi here then two pi okay so we can use either true or false for a full circle it doesn't matter true we need one more thing circle zero dot stroke we should be able to see the circle nice so that can that change is um so uh, line width okay to three and uh, maybe color mm, color literal dot set stroke okay let's see how it looks cool i like it and can we make this circle to the center there's a trick um we can we can get the width and the height using bounds properties so width divided by two okay and the height oh sorry bounds the height divided by two now it's guaranteed to be in the center of the origin view yes now let's make a copy so this is how we draw the second circle of course we cannot use the same name here because it's a different constant um, one yeah the only th thing different is here, right? We are plus another 50. Sorry, no, 50. Run it. And if we make another copy, we can get the third circle. But no, we'll use for loop, OK? So let's create a for loop. We can select this one, template. So let's use i here to loop three times zero dot dot less than three that's the syntax so in each round each iteration i will be right zero one two three times okay so now we can copy or cut this one to put it here and the indentation we let's correct that so we'll replace this guy with i and now we don't need this let's get rid of that so we should be able to see three circles oh it complains because this i the data type of i is integer but all the other things is cg float so let's convert this guy to cg float cg float now it should be okay command r to run it yes let's add one more so we can easily change these three to four and so we all have four circles haha <laughs> let's count four one two three four maybe five six seven a let's put a here one two three four 
Wow, gorgeous. That's it for today. See you next time.